This is not what I expected. Check this out. I've been driving 13 kilometers now. The average consumption is over 30 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. Have you ever thought uh, about how the range of the Polestar 2 is? If you turn off all the heating, even if it's really cold outside, like, like now, you haven't th thought of that. Well, I have, and I want to test that right now. It's pretty cold outside now minus 13 minus 15 something like that and what i'm gonna do is get dressed get some really warm clothes on turn off all the heating and just drive for an hour and see how the consumption is uh, the car has been the car was charged to 79 percent last night so it's been in the freezer or outside in the cold during the night so it's not preheated or anything it's everything is cold let's see how it goes okay this is for science i'm almost ready let's go <laughs> Okay, we are ready now. I'm dressed warm clothes. Uh, we have 78% battery and it's minus 12 at the moment. Heating is off. Reset this one. Okay. I have seat heating on one and the steering just for some comfort and I guess I have to have the window open to avoid fogging so let's see how this goes this is not what I expected check this out I've been driving 13 kilometers now uh, the average consumption is over 30 kilowatt hours per hundred kilometers okay we are halfway now and I was a bit surprised by the high consumption uh, seems like if you're driving without heat and the battery is cold the car uses a lot of energy in I don't know heating up the battery let me show you here we've driven 35.3 kilometers and used 23.8 kilowatt hours in average uh, I did expect a lot less uh, the average speed is 63 and as you can see now here this grayed out area is going in that direction uh, as far as I've understood understood that means when the battery is cold and can't accept any charge from the regen it will be all the way to the right um, so it seems like the battery is slowly heating up, but still high consumption. Um, so yeah, let's just go back and see what the end result will be. Then we conclude from there. Okay, 21.7 is the average. We've driven 69.2 kilometers. Um, average speed 61. I've been parked here for a minute, so it's 
going down. Um, let's see, 57, it was 58. The battery charge was 58 when I stopped here. And we started with 78, so 20% battery charge for 69.2 kilometers of range. Uh, what I noticed is that, uh, you check this out here, this field here was scrambled in the beginning when the battery was cold and it gradually went down and after about 50 kilometers of driving it was all gone. That means that the battery is warm enough to uh, receive uh, regen charge. And I also noticed that the average consumption was high 30 kilowatt hours per hundred for a long time and just when the scrambled field disappeared and the battery was heated enough uh, the consumption started dropping and it dropped to like 21.6 when I parked now so it seems like it's using a lot of energy when the battery is cold uh, it's as expected of course uh, cold but we all know cold batteries are inefficient and it's kind of strange that you cannot heat the battery before driving like when you preheat the cabin uh, when you when you put the car into preheating it just preheats the cabin it doesn't heat the battery as far as I've understand understood as far as I know, uh, because you see that even if you preheat the car, you see the scrambled area when you start driving. And uh, yeah, so just out of curiosity, now that the battery is heated up and we ended up with 21.6 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers for this trip uh, from kind of cold start. I wonder how the consumption will be with a heated battery as we have now. So what I'm going to do is just do the same trip again. Uh, just reset every, every counter here and do the same trip again. And then let's see what we end up with uh, when we get back. Okay. Okay, I just had to stop by my house and get some warm socks because it was starting to get pretty cold. So I learned a few things on this trip. And one is that driving without heat in the car in minus uh, 13 minus 12 or whatever it's really cold uh, yeah so if you if you watch this video so f this far and you enjoyed it please consider to hit like and subscribe and maybe comment below too uh, because I it would be really appreciated it's really fun for me to to see I really like it so Okay, let's go. Second second round. Uh, heated batteries. How is, how is the consumption? Let's see. Okay, let's reset. We have 56% charge. Let's go. Okay, we've driven 10 kilometers now and uh, on round two. And as you can see now we have Average consumption so far is 16.9, 17 kilowatt hours per hundred. Uh, on the first trip with the cold batteries, the consumption was around 30 kilowatt hours per hundred kilometers. So it's quite a big difference. Okay, we are now halfway on the second round, uh, second trip. Um, Let's check out really fast the results so far. Yeah, there's some of them. Here you can see we have 18.3 kilowatt hours per hundred. We have driven 35.3 kilometers. Average speed 65. Yeah, we used 47% charge. Okay, so let's just head back and uh, see how the end result will be. Ok, 
Okay, let's see here. 18.8 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. So we're back, uh, finished the second run. Uh, I've driven 69.2 kilometers again, same route. Um, so this time with heated batteries, they were heated after the first round. Uh, it seemed like they were heating up gradually and then kind of finished heating uh, after about 50 kilometers. Um, so yeah, the average speed on this run, 64 kilometers per hour, or 60, yeah, 64, 18.8 uh, kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers is the consumption. Yeah, it seems like the car uses a lot of energy the first 50 kilometers. So when you prepare for a trip with a Polestar 2, you often uh, preheat the car, you go into the settings and then you it preheats for half an hour. What this does is just heat up the cabin so it's nice and warm inside, but it doesn't seem to heat the battery. Uh, so, and that takes a lot of, like when you, as I showed you now, the first 50 kilometers of the first trip, the battery was still heating up. Uh, and that results in higher consumption. So it's kind of weird. I wish that Polestar had some like built-in battery heating. Uh, at least when you're plugged into the charger at home and you preheat the car, it should have preheated the battery as well. I find it kind of strange that like, yeah. So what I wish was that when you click on preheat, then the cabin temperature gets nice and warm and also the battery is heated up. Uh, so you don't have to heat up the battery when you are like, like now on the first 50 kilometers of the trip. Uh, if you're going on a longer trip, I'm sure that would save some, some uh, energy. I don't know. What do you think? Comment below. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that's it. So it, I think it was kind of interesting to see the see how big difference there is. Um, um, yeah, until next time. See you.